Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial we will be creating an audio visualizer that looks truly awesome. Step by step we will make this cool animation and you can use this audio waveform in many different ways. So grab attention to your music and visuals with this creative visualizer. And before we begin like usual make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video clips. And without any further ado let's dive into After Effects and start creating. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first, like always, let's create new composition, hit on this little icon or control or command plus N like usual and this is gonna be final and for the width and height 1920 by 1080 full HD 30 frames per second and also for the duration I will go 1 hour and of course you can type here your own duration. Hit OK and as you can see here in the project window I already have this media 01 and this is free footage from pexels.com, I will leave the link down below in the description. Just drag and drop here in the final composition, hit P4 position, readjust this Y parameter if you need, like so, this is looking cool. Ok, now go here in the facts and presets and if you can't find the facts and presets just go window and you will find effects and presets here. Now let's type CC toner, ok, drag and drop onto the media 01 and here for the tones instead of triton find here duotone and for this first option highlights let's go and type this hexacode. E82C65. For me this is looking cool, of course you can find here your own suitable colors, but for this particular one I will do this color. Hit OK and as you can see now we have this media 01 here in the final composition and let's go right click to create new solid layer, ok, this is gonna be grid also 1920 by 1080 hit OK, go here in the facts and preset, find grid effect, alright, also drag and drop onto the solid layer. And here let's make further adjustments. For this anchor option I will do minus 2 and for the Y parameter also minus 2. Ok, for the corner I will do 130 and also for the second one 97. And now we have grid like this, also you can play around with the border. Let's go and try maybe 3, this is looking great, ok. And for the next effect let's add linear wipe effect, alright. Also drag and drop onto this grid solid layer. And here also let's make further adjustments for the transition completion let's go 55% and for the wipe angle instead of 90 let's go minus 90 ok and let's also readjust the feather from 0 to around 700 and as you can see we have this cool grid disappearing here on the right side and this is looking great. Also what we can do next is to turn on those titles and action safe and let's create our text hit ctrl plus T Ok, as you can see I'm using this Oswald font and for the font size let's go to around 60. Ok, I will just type random text, audio, visualizer, ok, readjust it here in the final composition like so. Now let's duplicate, hit ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate, hit P for position, move it down, ok, and I will just type second random text, let's create together ok double click for this font size I will do maybe 32 all right readjust it a bit more here in the final composition and this is looking cool for me ok now it's time to add our audio spectrum effect but before that let's create solid layer go right click to create new solid layer this is gonna be audio spectrum ok and go here in the facts and preset again and find audio spectrum effect also drag and drop onto this solid layer and let's also add fill effect go here again in the effects and preset add fill effect change color to white ok and basically we can play around here with the options and let's go here for the start point and let's type 1450 and also go for the end point 1450 ok select this audio spectrum and for this y parameter of start point go up to something like this you can also hold shift on your keyboard and for this end point move it down all right somewhere around here this is looking cool you can also readjust here a bit more if you need and as you can see we already have this cool audio spectrum 
Now we can play around with the start frequency, end frequency, frequency bands and so on. For this end frequency I will do maybe 800 and also for the maximum height I will do 2000. Now let's also create audio composition, okay hit here again, this is gonna be audio composition, alright. Also one hour long, hit OK, and as you can see, I have already imported this audio track. Of course, you will import your own, just to drag and drop here in this new composition. Now go here in the finals, and just drag and drop this composition inside this final composition. OK, now let's go here on Audio Spectrum Solid Layer, hit F3 again, and we will use this audio comp as a reference. Go here on Audio Layer, and find here audio composition. Okay, now hit zero, and as you can see, this is already looking cool. You can also play around with all of those options, you can also go maybe display option from digital to analog lines, dots, just play around with everything until you're satisfied with the results, maybe for this side option to go maybe to side A, hit zero again and now our waveform will go from this from the left side all the way to the right side and this is looking great all right for the next step let's also create timer here in the final composition hit ctrl plus t or go hit on this little icon okay i'll just type here timer and I'm using this Oswald font for the font size go to around 50 okay now let's open up this little triangle go on text and then hold alt on your keyboard and then left mouse click on this source text and I will just paste the expression hit ctrl plus v okay I will also leave the link of this expression down below in the description okay and now when we hit zero as you can see we have also this timer and this is looking great also you can hit P for position, also turn on title and action save to reposition it, maybe to go somewhere around here, maybe upper a little bit, and this is looking cool. Hit zero, and as you can see we have also cool looking timer here. Okay, for the next step let's also create shapes, hit Q on your keyboard, and before that make sure to unselect everything here, and let's go and find the ellipse tool, okay. Set the fill color to solid color and stroke to none and hold Control shift and alt on your keyboard and draw a circle like this. You can also use space while you're holding Control shift and alt to reposition this shape. And as you can see, now we have this perfect looking shape layer. I will turn off those titles and action save. Now go here again in the effects and preset, find maybe ramp effect, also drag and drop on this shape layer one. Let's rename this shape layer one to circle. Okay, and for the ramp, let's go for the start color to somewhere around here and color to around here. And let's change this start color to maybe this type of orange color. You can also use eyedropper for the second one. And let's make this one a bit darker, maybe something like this. Play around with the colors. Okay, now hit here again on the circle, hold control on your keyboard or command and just double click on this pen behind icon to make this anchor point here to the center. Okay, now let's duplicate this circle. This is gonna be stroke. Move it below this circle, okay. And for the scaling, I will do 102, okay. And let's change color to white color for this start and for this end color. Or you can just play around also with the colors. For me, this is looking great. Now what we can do is to pre-compose this circle. Select it, go right click, pre-compose. This is gonna be shape. O1, okay, and for the next step let's duplicate all the way across the composition, hit ctrl plus D, this shape O1, let's rename this one, this is gonna be shape O2, okay, and just move it to around here, hit S for scaling if you need, alright, maybe to go to around 30 or so, and just reposition it here in the final composition, also hit ctrl plus D once again, and move it to maybe somewhere here. Just play around until you're satisfied with your own final results. You can also go here inside those composition, change colors or add ramp again and just play around with your own colors. Okay, 
Now when we hit zero, this is looking great. Also for the final step, let's add particles, go right click to create new solid layer. This is going to be star burst particles. Okay, go here in the facts and preset, find star burst effect. Okay, drag and drop onto this new composition. Also, let's add fill effect, drag and drop also on the star burst particles, change color to white color. Okay, and here let's also play around with the options for the grid spacing. Let's go to around 10. Also for the size, let's try 20. And this is already looking better. And for the speed, let's go to maybe 0 0.10 or so. Now, as you can see, we have also cool particles, play around with the size, grid spacing, and whatever fits to you. Also, you can play around with the scatter, something like this. Let's try make these particles even larger. Let's go to around maybe 30 or 35, hit zero. Just play around until you're satisfied with your own result. All right, guys, what we can do also for the end hit here on grid, find here also for the blending modes. If you don't want to see those hard lines, go here and find overlay blending mode and you can duplicate this one for the few times and you will have this type of look. Hit control plus D once again. And now we have something like this. As I have already said, play around with everything until you're satisfied with your own final results. All right, guys, that was everything for today's tutorial. Like always, I hope you learned something new. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. Also, turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. You can write me a comment down below in the comment section, write me suggestions and everything else. And also take a look on my channel for even more great tutorials like this one. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.